Hi, I'm Charlie Rodman, Austin criminal defense attorney, and today I'm going to talk about all the different ways a DWI case uh, is possibly dismissed in Travis County. So there are quite a few, so let's, let me just mention them first. A rejection of the charges, straight dismissal, pretrial diversion, deferred prosecution, Class C ticket, obstruction of a highway, the specialty courts, project engaged in veterans court, a suppression hearing, a jury trial, or there is a new thing called deferred adjudication, which is not a dismissal, but it's not a conviction if you complete it properly. So we're going to talk about each of these individually. So let's start with uh, rejection of the charges. And this would be if the county attorney, after reviewing the evidence, decides uh, that charges shouldn't be filed. Um, this doesn't happen very often. It's quite rare. Um, usually something like where uh, the blood comes back under the limit, like well under the limit, there's no like 0 .03. There's no drugs. They've watched the video and they, they, you know, the person has exhibits something, but it may just be their physiology, how they behave or act, and they reject the charges. Um, it's not really anything a defense attorney can influence, or at least not a whole lot, um, and it doesn't happen very much. Um, the second way is a straight dismissal. That's also rare, um, but that's after the char charge has been filed, um, and usually like it's a under the limit breath, and the, the, there's no collision or anything like that. It's, you know the facts are, are not bad, um, and uh, you know so someone that blew a point. 06, you know, and even though technically the law allows for 0 .06 to someone to be found intoxicated, um, the limit is 0 .08, but there's another way you can be intoxicated, and that's if you've lost the normal use of your physical or mental faculties. So um, a straight dismissal doesn't happen very much either, and usually uh, if the prosecutor is willing to do it, their facts aren't, they're not good for the prosecutor, uh, uh, and uh, usually the defendant has to do a few things, including the class. That straight dismissal doesn't happen very often. Um, Pretrial diversion. Now this is something relatively new. It's about two or three years old and uh, that's a dismissal uh, if you complete the program and the program consists just basically of you blowing into a breathalyzer three times a day for a year into these windows. Uh, there's two hour windows basically morning, afternoon, and night to prove that you haven't had anything to drink. And to get in this program you have to apply. There's some rules, you have to be, the, the BAC has to be under 0.15 um, and there can't be any collision and again they have to approve you into the program but uh, people do this and it's a dismissal and it's expungible which is of course the goal of any uh, case. Now deferred prosecution is a contract between you and the uh, county attorney not to get in trouble and to do some things. They'll, they have a checklist of things for you to do and usually it's a year, 18 months, two years um, and they'll dismiss the case up front, but if you don't follow the rules or you get arrested, they'll refile the DWI. Um, now this doesn't, uh, it used to be more common, they don't do it as much anymore, um, but it is a, a dismissal that would be expungible. Um, generally, if we're trying to get deferred prosecution, the prosecutors just say you should do pretrial diversion. Um, so it, this doesn't happen as often, but I'm including it uh, for completeness sake. Uh, a Class C ticket, okay, is if they reduce the case to a Class C ticket, um, as long as that ticket is deferred, um, that will be expungible as well. This is a really good result, and uh, it doesn't happen a, a whole lot, but, but we get quite a few of them, but really only when our clients' cases, the facts aren't bad, okay? Uh, you know, no collision, the, the BAC is in the medium range, like 0 .11, 0 .10, you know, not too high, and the client does a lot of work uh, in terms of alcohol monitoring classes, things like that. Class C ticket is considered a major victory um, and it's expungible as long as it's deferred, which we make sure it always is. Um, the, the one people hear a lot about, obstruction of a highway, is a reduction. Um, uh, obstruction of a highway is a class B and it does involve probation. And the DWI is dismissed, but the obstruction of a highway, even if it's deferred, um, it, it isn't expungible, so you can't expunge the DWI and the obstruction of a highway um, together, So that although the, the DWI would say dismissed. Obstruction of a highway is like if you're blocking a road, there's probation, um, and uh, that has all the, the uh, things that probation has. You have a probation officer, there are rules, and, and um, so this is basically it's a compromise. Like the, the county attorney thinks 
okay, well, you know, this person might not do this again. They've learned their lesson. The facts aren't too bad, so we'll we'll dismiss the DWI, but put them on this probation for obstruction of a highway. This is considered a major victory as well. Anytime you're getting a DWI dismissed, that's great. Um, but there are a lot of uh, things. A client still on probation for obstruction of a highway. Um, this other uh, option doesn't happen as much uh, because they're specialty courts and so Project Engage is for very young people um, and that's typically 20 years old, 17 to 20, um, and they have to apply and get accepted but they do have a DWI dismissal track. Um, and then there's Veterans Court, it's the same thing, you have to apply and qualify uh, and uh, there is a dismissal track if, uh, if they let you into that program and agree to that. Um, now we're getting to the, the parts where cases where, where it's not as much a plea bargain, it's uh, winning a legal battle. And so uh, if you have a suppression hearing and, and you win, meaning all the evidence is thrown out based on some sort of constitutional violation by the officer, uh, the case will be dismissed. Okay. Um, the most common one on the DWI is if the officer didn't have a legitimate reason to pull you over. Um, and you know they always say they do. Uh, but sometimes when you review the video, you see, no, it didn't happen like that at all, and the officer is either mistaken or, or something else. And uh, they, if the judge agrees that the officer didn't have a legitimate reason to pull you over, they'll uh, suppress the evidence, and, and the county attorney will usually just dismiss the case right after that. So that's a legal battle to get it dismissed. Now, of course, you have a, a, your main constitutional right is to have a jury trial. So if you're acquitted by a jury, okay, your case is basically dismissed and you'll it's eligible for an expunction um, that uh, certainly happens uh, jury trials happen uh, you know probably one out of 300 cases go to jury trial um, and then finally uh, I'm just including this just for completeness sake uh, deferred adjudication is a relatively new um, law that allows this for DWI. It used to be they were not allowed to do deferred adjudication on a DWI case, but now they are. Um, but it's not a dismissal, but if you complete it, it's not a conviction, okay? Um, and you're eligible for a ceiling of it, okay, in either two or five years, depending on the facts of, of the probation. Um, and you, you can't have had a collision with this, you know, that's Travis County policy. Your BAC has to be under 0.15. Anyway, there's some rules about that. You know, we're happy to explain it. But I just wanted to bring this one up because, while it's not a dismissal, it's it's something that uh, is is better than a straight conviction on it. All right, that's uh, really all of the different ways a, a DWI uh, can be dismissed in Travis County. Um, if you have any questions, uh, give us a call.